The STEM Action Center's executive director visited Idaho State University this morning to discuss their partnership with the university. KPBI News That Works For You journalist Paul Beam reports. In 2018, there was a reported 6,300 unfilled jobs that would equal $412 million in personal income. The STEM Action Center is an agency in the office of the governor that is designed to guide students into STEM fields through partnerships with organizations like Idaho State University. We recognize that the ISU programs are really working to train the workforce of the future, and so we want to make sure that we have a strong partnership with them to facilitate the connections between education and industry as we are working to grow our own workforce right here in Idaho. The partnership has led to different events to get students interested in the STEM fields. This upcoming month, they have the Idaho Science and Engineering Fair to show off students' research projects on March 8th, and they also help out teachers with science standards with an event called iSTEM coming to ISU this summer. So we need to reach right down into uh, middle school and, and, and maybe even elementary school to get these kids excited about STEM related fields and uh, the STEM Action Center has done a phenomenal job across the state in so many areas helping um, fund and, and helping to take these types of STEM activities into those schools to get these kids interested. The executive director took a tour of the Ames Complex, which is a relatively new facility that houses the College of Technology. Hemingway says this is the kind of connection to the industry that they are trying to foster. Being able to see the machine shop and how that's going to expand, how diesel and welding are going to be right next door to one another so that students can interact with various disciplines. It really is the way that these students are going to be working when they enter the work Force, this transdisciplinary approach to learning. Uh, that is the next generation of education and it's happening right here at ISU. Reporting for Pocatello, I'm Paul Beam, KPBI News that works for you. The STEM Action Center is in the final stages of a deal with Micron to help support the expansion of ISU's program to further expand the pipeline of students interested in STEM fields.